Yo, what's up, Pride Nation? Back at you with another one on today. I am your main man, TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed to this channel, then what are you waiting for? Because we talk sports, period. All right, guys, without further ado, I want to talk about the Detroit Lions on today. Make sure you subscribe to the DSA. Their links will be down below. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to talk about the offensive line and Matthew Stafford in 2019. The PFF had the Lions ranked 16th in total offense last season. And uh, what would the Lions do for an encore this season in 2019? Well, we know pretty much in the offseason, the Detroit Lions fired and released um, offensive coordinator Jim Bob Cooter. And now we picked up a new offensive coordinator, formerly of the uh, Minnesota Vikings, as well as the Super Bowl champs a couple seasons ago, the Seattle Seahawks. And we know that Daryl Bevel's goal is to whip these guys into shape and be able to play a balanced offense. The number one goal is to be able to run the ball, but also to be able to have a, have a balanced attack that Matthew Stafford is able to do some damage. We know that when Matthew Stafford has protection, the guy can make every throw. He has a cannon for an arm, and we definitely need to protect our quarterback. Last season, what a shame on us. Matthew Stafford, I believe, was sacked 41 times. I believe in two games he had got sacked like almost – um, 16 to 17 times, one by the Minnesota Vikings, which was uh, a franchise record for those guys, 10 sacks on Matthew Stafford. And then the following week, I believe it was six to seven sacks from the Chicago Bears. This cannot happen in 2019. Stafford needs the protection. Guys like Decker are going to need to step up. This offensive line is going to have to jail. We know that guys do get injured and guys do get hurt. But when guys are coming in, we built this team for depth. And when guys are coming in, we need these guys to be playing at a high and elite level. If we want to make noise in 2019, the offensive line is going to have to be uh, one of the key uh, parts of our team. We know that within the last couple seasons, the Lions have not played that well on offense. They've been kind of sluggish. And what I mean by that is they're, when um, the offense is out on the field, they're having sluggish starts. Um, we struggled in the red zone, and that's been some issues. But hopefully this season it'll be a little different for the for us because we have tight ends uh, Jesse James as well as uh, drafting a tight end such as T.J. Hawkinson that will be able to help out on that offensive line. But the name, the number, the number one thing is being able to have a quarterback like Matthew Stafford being able to make his reads, check um, his uh, checkoffs, and being able to make his his progressions and his throws and getting the ball to the guys that he need to be able to make uh, plays out on the field. And I definitely think that if Stafford gets the protection that he needs, that he will be solid, that he will be um, an effective quarterback out on the field. And I definitely think that the offense will gel. Um, everything is predicated on these guys playing well this season. We know that Matthew Stafford is learning a new playbook, but we know that he can be a smart enough quarterback to pick up this playbook and to be effective and to do the things that he needs to do to become better on offense. So hopefully Matthew Stafford and the offense will get better in 2019, that we will not be in the middle of the pack with the offense, but we would be in the forefront with the offense. And what I mean, I'm talking about a top 10 offense. So we know that we're not going to be a pass happy team like we have been in times of old, but we will be a, a, a team that will have a balanced attack using uh, the run by committee out of the backfield and definitely being able to use every offensive weapon that we have. Uh, bringing over guys like Danny and Mandola should help out as well on third downs. And you just need the Lions to play better on the offensive side of the ball. This is where we have been sluggish in the past, and we cannot continue to be sluggish on the offensive side. Guys, I think that the Detroit Lions have the right tools in place to be a team that makes some noise this season. The Lions have everything at their disposal. Matthew Stafford has all kind of weapons this season. So now it's a put up a shut up and it's time for us to break out. It's time for us to keep quit playing sluggish and it's time for us to start punching teams in the mouth. I'm tired of seeing the Lions start slow. I want to see these guys start coming out aggressive and playing well. And I definitely think if the Lions are able to do that, 
the uh, the team with jail. We never had it where the Lions have been good on offense and defense at the same time. And that is just something that we totally need for the Lions to do in 2019. We need the Lions to be good on offense as well as defense. We need the, them to be balanced and a well-rounded team on special teams as well. We can't forget about that, but everything is going to be predicated on what these offensive linemen are able to do. So we're hoping that um, Frank Ragnall will be able to make the adjustment to center and that he'll be one of the best centers in the league and uh, that Graham Glasgow will pick up his game and be a good guard for us. So whether these guys are swapping positions or whatever they're, whatever they're doing, we want these guys to be the best. Um, and we know um, the battle is won in the trenches. The battle is won with the offensive and defensive lines. And the Detroit Lions definitely need to have a great offensive line this season. Matthew Stafford has never had that before. And I think the Lions owe it to him to be able to protect him, to be able to so that he'll be able to make the throws down the field and get the ball to the players that he needs to get the ball to. Guys like uh, Marvin Jones, Kenny Galladay, um, Hawkinson, Jesse James, Danny Amendola, Brandon Powell, uh, Travis Fulgham. It's just many guys that the Lions need to be able to um, make sure that they are uh, getting involved in the game. And if Matthew Stafford has the added protection, guys, I, I can I can bet your bottom dollar that this team will be better in 2019. Everything is on the offensive line to be better, to protect Stafford, and to not allow him to get sacked 41 times in a season. Uh, that is unacceptable, and we cannot have that. If we want to win the NFC North this season, guess what, guys? We're going to have to be good on the offensive side of the ball. We must be balanced on the offside, offensive side of the ball, and we must be a team that is able to run the ball and able to throw the ball when we need to make the throws uh, to, to uh, make this team a little bit better in 2019. So let me know how you feel about that. Peace. I give you my heart.